Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Warmer 40k Sanctus Reach and we are at the next story mission, the Claw of Morg. Morgrog has built a new weapon, the Claw of Morg, its purpose to pull a comet out of the sky, hmm, that hasn't happened before, and unleashed its destructive potential on the Imperial Fort defenses at Sacred Mountain. Temp what? Tempesto Prime Whitelock deploys his man with all the haste to destroy the weapon. His Tempesto Skyans will be tested. Alright, let's then get into it. I don't hope that's going to be an unfair mission, but I will see. I expect a bigger mission there. And the main objective here. Pick up and use the demolition charges to destroy the three reactors that power the Claw of Morgs force field. Once completed, disable the Claw of Morg at all costs. The fate of um, the planet rests on the on this victory. All right. Bad thing is, we don't have a. We don't have a. Okay, we only have fast attack units. All right. All right, all right, all right. So we now, I guess, have to use the chimeras. So that is what we will then do if the game wants us that to use. So I have not used those things often. I think I've never used them. So forgive me if I am going to make the one or other mistake. Fun fact, the other episodes all were very, very tank heavy, the last episodes. So this time then we are having not a tank heavy one, but a infantry heavy one. So that's actually quite funny because I was always saying, ah, go tank heavy, tank heavy, tank heavy, the best thing you can do. And now we are forced to use infantry. All right, starting the mission. Okay. And well, um, is it deploy mode? No, of course not. So there are many forces in front of us, and uh, that is what I really don't like. If do we have charges now? Okay, now you have to. I don't say. Okay, at least we don't have a time limit, which is quite good for us. Um. You're then going to take this one, you're going to take this one. And the bad thing is that you that are, you need to... That is what I don't like. You then have to go back and... This is so annoying. Um, the thing is, we don't have a time limit, but I guess the reactor is going to shoot plenty of times. And I have to destroy all three reactors. So, okay, we have a little sign there. All right, do you can then please take some units. Mounting them like so. That is a little bit annoying that you have to do, you can only, you know. Okay, he's full. And at least you already are going to advance. And that is not good at all. But there are so many big units, so please. Um, how do I actually get the units out again? Um, the bad thing is here are many, many, many units is no good at all. I don't know what, what I'm doing here right now is the right choice, but the fa um, fun fact is with all the um, slugger knobs there, you can't really, you know, do anything against the enemy there. You know, you, 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 until you've killed them, you are dead. That is at least what I think here. So mounting those guys up here. All right, the Ogrins can't. Ah, uh, damn it. That was a little tiny mistake there. They can't move into the tanks there. All right. So this is um, it has no transport capacity of whatsoever. All righty. Then we will go 
go on here. No big damage, but a little bit of damage there. So can you... I would like... To, probably you can only put them out then in the next turn, I guess. So this mission is going to be a little bit longer, guys. Um, as you can expect with that huge of a battlefield, you know, it is just going to drag itself a little bit on. Alright, got them. And the Kaimura moves on. And then move up as well. Here. I will put them to the left side um, in order, you know, to probably do everything we can. So, so you have to use big S. Ah, okay, one tile off. Nice. So you see how many units are actually there. That is going to be pretty dicey to, you know, advance here and be good at it. At least that is what I think. So the important units move then up. These guys move up. So I don't see the big advantage of the uh, of having the the hellhounds there, no, the Kamuras, in order to help you out moving because you are nearly as has if you on foot there. So that is what I don't try to comprehend, but that's it for now. So no shooting from you, no shooting from you, no shooting from you, no shooting from you. That is not good at all. And how do I advance here? I think first of all I'm gonna need to take care of those burner boys. Okay, that was for nothing, and the good thing is that we are going to be shot at then in the next round. What is really working against us here is the environment. Um, that is definitely working against us. Oh, come on, I can't even go... Are you kidding me? I, yes, um, I wanted to, to heavily complain there. We couldn't go through there, but we can. So the really bad thing is that we are down here oh good lord do you see how many orc units there actually are oh my god with we have no tank support i am not sure whether we are going to really make it in this mission there are this is actually a maze here and there are so many enemy units which, you know, these normal orc boys, once they are in close combat, they tear you apart. So that is going to be quite fun, this mission. I'm looking forward to the next orc turn there, actually. I know I'm getting a little bit, you know, in a complain mode, but the when you are a designer, a game designer, you should actually think about the style of this mission and the whole map layout, you know, it, it, it looks good, but if you don't want to lose too, too much time, you are narrowed down here and that is so nasty. I don't even want to know how, ma sorry, how many units are here until we, we arrive at the reactor, so... That is going to be a hell of a fight, and we shouldn't do too, too many mistakes here, actually. So, I would have liked to kill at least one there, but so, giving it up to the Orc player there. And the thing is, what I... They can kill off one squad in one round. This is insane. So here at least our close combat specialists are in front, so that's not too too bad, but on the other sides it's going to be quite hard. Let's see how much damage does it do against the Hellhound. Hmm? 300 damage there. Dealt. 
just so. <laughs> ah, that is what I don't like. The sometimes in this game the unfairness in the missions, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit bitter in this game, I guess. Sorry for that. So, um, I think with the Astra Militarium Imperial Guard with out heavy tank support is, you know, really the thing where this game is getting really, really hard. And as you know, I'm 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 not playing on the highest. I'm not playing on the highest. These are just orc boys. Do you know that? These are just orc boys. I'm not playing on the highest difficult level, so that is the big problem there. I mean, I mean, I don't want to re restarted one or two missions. I think because I, you know, made some major mistakes there. Um, this one is actually one where I probably going to have to reload, reboot again, but that I will then cut out, I guess. Think about it, these I know Camillas are like rhinos, you know, they, they blow up fast, but we nearly have already lost two tanks here. And we haven't done anything good whatsoever too, so that is going to be a little bit problematic. But let's see, and I need to advance here, should I? Could have just waited there actually, and let's, let's see um, how the orcs are actually coming at us. Maybe that would have been the smarter move there to do. But I guess at some points you just have to move out, you can't, can't just stay there and, you know, wait until the enemy gets at you, can you? Probably yes you can, but... It's something you shouldn't always do there. Alright, I need to disembark all my units there. I think the the transport thing doesn't work out for me. I mean, maybe I could have just moved the two explosive units to the reactors up there, but that wouldn't have brought us anything, would it? And I tell ya, I feel it that there is going to be of course the minor and that is what I was doing. I am afraid that there are going to be a Gorgonaut or a Morganaut. If that is going to happen, we can't beat this mission. Anyhow, we are good here. We are good. Alright. So let's then I will end this episode here. And I really thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, guys, and if you want to see how we actually are going to be in the next round then please tune in give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye